Hello and welcome. To start off, the new update for Heavy Spleef is now released, or it did release two days ago, 1.2. Now there's been a new, a lot of new additions and features and bug fixes and a bunch of stuff. So the, I guess the first things that I should say about the new update is that they made the scoreboard work for one versus one and by the way I can't figure out how the scoreboard exactly works but I'll at least show you how to add it and they added teams and some extra flags like shears difficulty and they already had a lot of uh, other flags but yeah we will continue so this is what we're gonna pretty much try to create and we will do it over here though we gotta create it again all right so to start start off you'll want to create an arena this is a 20 by 20 the arena size actual inside will be 19 by 19 make a decent size arena of course depending on how many players you have I think this would be good for four players probably no more that could even then could get pretty hectic at times but we will continue the first things you will do after creating your arena is of course creating the arena and the heavy spleef. So what you'll want to do here is target the very first block over here. Click that, repair, go over here. Now what I did over here is left click it over there and I'll want to go to the all the way to the other side and right click here and second point set. So now after that you'll want to hit spleef create now I'm just gonna call this test well oh my bad now you'll want to create it and choose if you want cuboid or cylinder now cylinder is a little bit different you'll have to make it kind of odd but we're just gonna use a cuboid all right so there we have it we have our arena now but there's a lot more to do now we're gonna have to add floors and let's see. Uh, we should have the floor probably about right here. Left click there. Right click here. Spleef add floor. Now the different options there is is random wool, given block, and yeah. So I am wanting to do random wool, but if you do want to you can do like the given block or actually it's given instead of block the block you can probably choose but the given you can make your own little type of blocks or whatever you want it to be it could be uh, you know wood leaves whatever but at this time I'm going to just put random wool because it kind of creates it for you and it's completely random every time you start the match so there we have it random wool now I'm gonna only add one floor but you can literally add tens probably even hundreds it don't matter you can add as many as you want and there we have it our floor so now we're going to create the lose zone we can just destroy that or repair when the match starts so to add a lose zone we're going to do it here left click there and just to make sure it's one block elevated right click there and spleef add lose Test. So a lose zone has now been added. So that means when somebody falls, they will lose. So our arena is nearly complete. All we need to do is set the lobby for when someone joins. And then it will be pretty much done, but we're going to add a few more features. Spleef, flag, test, lobby. That will add the lobby here, so when someone does join, and let's test to see if it works. Bam. There we go. Now when a token one two three test joins, we'll have to start it up by hitting spleef start and test. But spleef leave. No, I hate rain. Uh weather rain? Yep. No, no. <laughs> weather sunny. Okay. Clear. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this command, so give me a break. <laughs> okay. So now, turn down the sound just a bit. So now, 
that does work, but it might get annoying to have to keep, keep typing spleef start. So what we're going to also do is add a flag. So spleef flag. Let's look at the different flags they have. So auto start. Auto start and number. We want it to auto start at 2. Now you could change it to 3, so whenever you have 3 players it auto starts, but we're just going to put it to 2. And there's a bunch of other different flags like difficulty. Now I'm not exactly sure how difficulty works. Uh, but there's like 1, 2, and 3 I think, but it's like easy, normal, and hard. And I believe that will change the haste of the game. Now I'm not sure how that works, but there's a bunch of other uh, flags like jackpot amount, teams, wins, 1 versus 1, and max players. We're going to go ahead and do max players. Whoop. Test max players. Let's make it no more than four, five or six. Let's make it six. Can't join this because it's a, not a huge arena, so we don't want more than six. So there we go, six. And any more flags we won't. Shovels isn't necessary because you can instantly break the blocks regardless if you have a shovel or not. Because, I mean, it is wool. I don't know if it works for like that for dirt. Uh, rewards. Eh, this seems good, but you can... Try all of these different types and look them up on the Heavy Spleef Bucket Little Dev website. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a wall. So instead of typing Spleef Join all the time, you can go over to this area and just left click it. Or no, right click it, I believe. And you'll be able to join. So to do this, you'll make a little, little wall area and put some signs on there. And left click this sign, right click that sign. Spleef add wall Ooh. and of course gotta add test okay so there we have it joinable join test and it shows that zero people are in and zero there uh, I think it might be zero in the lobby and zero in game but a max of six so all we have to do is right click I have an object in my hand right click and there we have it split leave so, the next part will be the scoreboard. Now, I haven't really tested this enough to see if it completely works. I did test it just a little bit with this, but might require more players or a different flag. But, we'll create it regardless. So, you go over here to this area. You want to be above the ground or whatever because it will, it will literally kill part of the floor. And trust me. Not a good experience because I did it over there and I destroyed part of my arena. <laughs> so you want to do it around here. Seems pretty good. Elevated some. And spleef. Um, add scoreboard north. Oh, sorry. Test north. There we go. Now, you can F3 to see if you're going north, south, east, west, or whatever. I wanted to do it north, so it would be right here. And there we have it, a scoreboard. And hopefully you can get that to work and won't have any problems, but, yep. So, the there last go. two things are spleef, add team, test, red, and blue. Now, you can add up to five different little teams and then what we're going to do is make the max team size for that. Uh, actually, let's add one more team. Make it be able to do a 2 versus 2 versus 2. So then what we'll do is team flag test red 3. Oh, max players. That is just weird. Max. Layers 3. There we go. Go back through here. Blue. And green. So what I did is made a max number of people who can join them teams. To make it like a 3 versus 3 versus 3. But it's max of 6. But you get the idea. You can set the maximum number of teams. So there won't be like a 8 on red team and then 5 on blue team. And that would just be super uneven and, well, stupid. And the last feature is hubs and portals. So now I kind of done this wrong. This isn't really the right idea to have it like right beside this. You would most likely have some, if you had multiple arenas, you'd have an amazing looking fancy place. And it, you know, 
look amazing. It'd be like a little circle area. And you'd have like little walls of different spleef arenas you can join and everything. And the right idea is, well, this. I'll show you how to do it. You will use this and, of course, let's spleef set hub. This is the hub that we have. This would be an amazing looking place where you can choose all the different ones. This is your spawn point, your uh, area where you choose them. So, then you will right click it, join them, whatever, do all that, and play. And you can create portals to different areas kind of like this. And the portals will go to the hub. So if you create a portal, let's say, whoops, let's say here. Spleef add portal. Now, going through this portal will spawn you to the hub. Boom. There you go. You're back at the hub. You can choose all the different ones. And there we have it. A arena. So, just to make sure everything's working properly, let's test it on the dummy account. Oop, wrong arena. Auto starting. Now that there is two players. Starting in 10 seconds. You can't destroy it until the match starts, and it has started. Let's just see if you can destroy glass. Nope, you can't destroy the glass. All right. Well, he went AFK. I believe there's like an AFK timer if he just stands there for a moment. It stops. So we didn't get to kill him or test if the scoreboard works. We'll give it another try real quick. Keep him moving around for the moment. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, we teleport it out. And it doesn't look like the scoreboard is working for us, so hopefully you'll have better luck when you do it. Or maybe I've done something wrong. But as you can see, the floor has recreated and changed its color, and it will change again once you join. And players, of course, join. So thank you for watching. This will be all. Make sure to check out my other videos, subscribe, and actually try out Heavy Spleef. It's a great mod. Thanks for watching.